Eight. Back again, the Forgotten Horror Podcast. Hi, man. He's Davy, and together we are the masters of the macabre. And tonight we're talking about my favourite werewolf film, his favourite werewolf film, and uh, another one. <laughs> so, what, what's the uh, what have we got on for today then? Right, what we've got on today, mate, is the howling. Versus the American Wolf in London. Um, mm. They are two of the best werewolf films ever, ever, ever made. Now, everybody, I think, can appreciate American Wolf in London. And everybody really should appreciate The Howling. Because that, too, was an absolute epic, epic film. Incidentally, I, I saw The Howling first. Right. And it was the first time it was the first time I ever saw a woman on film full frontal. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, right, well, it was. Well, it I was, was expecting you to say something else then, but yeah, okay. All right. What what else is there to say? <laughs> the um say I, I watched uh, American Wable first on T V. Everything's on TV. The eighties and nineties was fucking awesome for telly. You don't get it anymore. Horror, horror films on TV. <clears throat> yeah, I think it was on no. TV when the first time I watched American Werewolf. So it probably would have been late eighties, eighty eight. I think something like that. Eighty seven, eighty eight, eighty nine. Yeah. See the Howling. We 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 watched the Howling again with my sister and that. Um, <laughs> I think American Wolf in London was was released same time, but for whatever mm -hmm. reason they picked the Howling first. So I just sat there and, and I thought, and in a way it was good because I had nothing to compare it to. I didn't have anything for the Howling to compare to. Or, or obviously mm -hmm. the Wolfman from Wolfman Universal, yeah. definitely anyway. fucking brilliant but, film. It's an awesome uh, film, isn't it? <clears throat> oh, absolutely. That's still Wolf my favourite universal. My favorite universal. Yeah, uh, it's me. <laughs> uh, I just, just fucking love that film. Um, yeah. So so this being a, a modern werewolf film, I thought, I thought yeah, as, as, as a kid watching it, it, it was quite creepy. I love the atmosphere in it. I love the locations. I was know. thinking about that um, before. Um because it's very, as a kid, it's quite um, scary. Yeah. Because it's quite, you know, it's dark. Um, and the transformation scene, compared to the American Wolf, obviously it's not as good, but the American Wolf, it's a bit, it's, it's, how can I word it? It's bright and it doesn't, the atmosphere is on his own and blah, blah, blah. But you can, in the owling, He's changing in front of her. So if you put yourself in her shoes, how fucking, how, um, you know, surreal that would be. Yeah, um, also, uh, you notice that he stood in front of the doorway. So mm -hmm. as he's transforming, she can't really escape because he's right in front of her. That would have been through fucking window. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, right, right, yeah. right, right. right Right, yeah, then lad, and I'm off through the fucking window. You just see yeah. the bottom oh, of my the wall, the bottom of my <laughs> soul wall. going through the window. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because he, once his head starts bubbling, that'd have been yeah, it. Just, that'd have been off. That's there in that way. Get out. Get the popcorn waiting, out. Come on. Waiting for twenty minutes while he's transforming. Mm -hmm. Oh, now you've got now you've got big teeth. Oh, now you. <laughs> oh, you're bubbling again. It's like us wrestling with the Prince of Darkness on the, yeah. on the, the, um, the Prince of Darkness. He's always ever a, present. It, it's an awesome transformation scene, though. It, it, it is. really is. But, but when you see the next film, it, it, it's nowhere near as good. But you know, it's still, it's still, it's in its own right. It's still a good transformation. Oh, you know? it, 
it was uh, <laughs> I think it was Rob Bottin that did the effects. They were their effects crew was they were on it. You know the transformation oh, yeah. scene because they were obviously filmed at the same time, and they were gonna. They knew. I do know that they both both companies knew that they were trying to race ahead a little bit like Friday the 13th mm. Part 2 and Halloween 2. They were both racing ahead to try and get get out first because, ah, we come out before you, all that sort of shit. Um, but it didn't really matter. It didn't really matter because, we, whichever you look at it, you got one film that's that's a different to the other. You know what I mean? I was just going to say, they're completely different. The apart howling. From, apart from it being about a fucking werewolf. But the film, the storyline's completely different. It's like Wolf, See, and that's another one. Completely different film. Oh, well, yeah, that's a gritty one. The Wolf and the uh, the yeah. Wolf and is a gritty film. I do remember watching the Howling and thinking it was more adult. You know, because remember when she goes to the the, the phone box at the beginning, and oh. he asks her to meet her. He asked us. He asked. He asked her to meet him, and he did he go into that that porno shop, that sex shop, <laughs> and she's watching like a, a rape a rape on screen as well mm-hmm. and he's just behind her isn't he and you just see the outline of him that was that was that was terrifying back in the day mate there was no there was no comedy about that that no. was terrifying the, well the first time i watched the owling i must have i think i was i was it was after american werewolf so i think we're talking maybe high school 90 90 91 I think first 92, maybe even. So, you know, I was like 11, 12, 13 when I watched Howling. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it is, it's a lot more of an adult theme. I know they're both 18s, but uh, yeah, I think the Howling. That, that, you know, that more scene. of one. <laughs> if that makes sense. That, that scene, because I, I do, re- I even remember one of my sister's friends saying, one of her friends saying, are you sure this is the right film? This is a bit. This is a, this is a bit adult, like you know what I mean. Mm. You no, know, because because she's, she's watching that. It's like a, a pretty pretty gra- graphic rape, isn't it? Yeah, and not... I was sat there as a kid like that. Ah, fucking hell! Yeah. What, what I'm actually surprised. It? Um, I'm surprised D. Wallace actually uh, signed on for that. To be honest, I, uh, I'm really surprised it never ended up on the. One of the sections list, mm. you know, when so with the free, video free, nasty, free, just yeah. for that scene alone. Because Friday the Thirteenth Two did, but the howling, just that scene. Maybe the censors didn't watch it. <laughs> maybe they just saw the, the 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 madness. Maybe they just saw the creep. Because it's a creature feature. They didn't really. Seriously, did they? No, not really. The, so, um, any, Jack, anyway, like, what, what so have I, you got to show us for the house? Sorry? Not, not much. I used to have to... Uh, years ago, I had the sell-through video um, with the yellow cover. Well, obviously, like oh. I said before, they went in the 90s. And I had the paperback as well, the paperback book of the fucker. And that, that went probably swapped into someone with in school. So the only other thing I've got left is just the standard Blu-ray now, which is um yeah was released in 20, 2017. It's literally the only thing I've got of the album. I've got like a couple of the sequels. Um but obviously we're doing the first one. So that's it. The album. Um what, what what have you got what delights have you got to show? <clears throat> the unholy from the vaults, as Darren from the Slaughtered <laughs> Lamb said. He says, "What, what have you got in the vault?" <laughs> well, the from the vaults this this time. It's I did. The, I have got the the pre-cert from Embassy. Yeah, that was the same as Fabulous myself. Really, that but it wasn't Embassy. It was like five or something. I think it was the company. Yeah, Channel Five. Mm. Yeah. Not yet, yeah. Like a cha- Channel Five before Channel Five. Five. Yeah. That's the pre-cert one. Cool. In in the embassy box as well. Um, You get a few of these. The fog and... Mm. uh, 
prom night final exam there on this label as well. Mm. I got the pre cert VHS and then very very D version when it came out. I never I never felt the need to upgrade to Blu-ray with having this because the picture in this is pretty pretty good. Mm. It's pretty spot on. Um, I had the DVD years ago. Nice There's a plethora of uh, extras on it. It comes in a really, really nice slipcase. It's a nice digipack as well. Linda Belaski Bul there. Cool. Right. It comes in a... But also inside, it's got a nice little booklet. Cool. Um, and they, oh, here you go. I had a crush on her. She was the first lady that I ever saw full frontal on film. Marsha Quist. Mm -hmm. And then there's a, another DVD there. Hang on a second. I'll take that one out. And this is Eddie Quist. If you can see that. Cool. Superb. Superb. And I never I never found the need to jump to Blu-ray because the quality on this is pretty pretty darn good. The only reason, the only reason why I got that Blu-ray is because I didn't I didn't own anything anymore. So I know they brought out um a 4K box set which I was gonna pick up, but because I didn't want to pay 40 quid for it, I just didn't bother. Yeah, didn't I've seen it. I just, I couldn't be, I've you know, I was it. like, I can't, I'm not interested for that money. If it was like 20, 25, I might have done, but not, not 40. No, because there's not really, there's not really a whole much on, there's not really that much on it, is there? No, I just wanted the extra bits in it rather than the actual film. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the posters and postcards and that, so. Yeah. Right, the big one, Anthony, come on. What have you got? We will film the fault. I've got all got quite a few bits, mate. Um, get rid of the DVD first. <laughs> it'll all it's battered. I mean, it's 21 years old this year, 2002. This DVD came absolutely. out absolutely. So it's probably a similar thing to your um, shit, disc has come off a similar thing yeah. to your uh, howling. Yeah, so I'll just get a double disc. Um, Take a booklet, which I can't be yeah. bothered getting out a little. Well, it's only like two pages. And then yeah. A little slip case with it on. Um, what else have we got? <laughs> um, bear with us. I'm in, the, I'm in the Amazon warehouse again. I've even got the HD. So it's not a Blu ray, it's actually HD. You know, when they had the um, Blu ray wars. Right. Is um, there much difference in picture quality from the DVD? Aren't I don't know. I've not got a player for this. <clears throat> <laughs> so, I wanted it. And it was like fucking, I think I paid a couple of quid for it or something stupid like that, but I just wanted it for the sake of it, really. But there's not, yeah. a, you know, because you know, when the VHS and Beta Max, it was like that with the Blu ray and, um, HD, DVD, Blu-ray, not Blu-ray. Yeah, not it's not. Discs. It's a bit of a war, aren't they, and the Blu-ray one. Well, uh, someone, no, someone <clears> asked me about it, and I, somebody asked me about oh, what do you, th what do you think's best, Dave, the the, the Blu-ray or the, the, the HD Blu-ray? I said, I don't know. I said, I've not got neither of them. <laughs> <laughs> got neither of them. I'm still on the old DVDs. Um... And I've got the you know the Blu-ray. I only wanted it for this uh, this slipcase. Ah, uh, nice, mate. Um, which I got from H and V for free. The slipcase, not the film. I had the film already. I bought it again. Took the slipcase off. Took the stickers off, and took it back to H and V and got my money back. I just wanted the slipcase. Um, then I've got the old. Well, it came out a few years ago. The Arrow, the Arrow box. See, um, we 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 uh we give non criminal advice on this channel too. <laughs> um, maybe got the film back. Um, no, it's just you, you, you blew away. Polestar, 
and I forgot what's on the other side now. Let me have it. Oh, I like this. Yeah. So you get your the cover art. And then, That's brilliant. I like, I like this one. The old uh, old advertisement of it. Yeah, that that was. I think that advertisement was using the TV Times in, back in the day. <laughs> and then you get a booklet. Um, I've got a few other bits. Hold on. Maybe there's a set. Yeah, a friend of mine's ordered me um, the statue, the Anne statue. Um, and as have you keep putting it back, so it's been like a year and a half, and they keep putting it back. A um, couple of um, steel books. Oh, yeah. Didn't pick that up, I don't know. Oh, nice, that way. Um, and then this is a, the old steel book. Oh, yes, that's a classic, that one. I love this. I love that picture. Yeah. Because um, it's on a steel, but you can't see it on the screen. But it's like, yeah. um, it stands like out. It's the, really nice. That, 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 they, I think they did a DVD version as well in the steel book. And yeah. that's like the classic. It, it's funny, it doesn't come with a mahogany, a mahogany border. <laughs> <laughs> the classic. Um, and then. What is that? Got rip, fucking hell. So, oh, you won't be able to pick it up, but it's. Uh, oh. oh. It's the, is that the? Is that the wolf? Yeah, let me pull it, uh, you can't pick it up because of the bloody. You've opened it up, and all I can see is my reflection in it. <laughs> I know. Um, you got, me, you got me. You got me in the box. You opened the wolf box and all I could see on my screen was me. I thought, Christ, he's got my head in a box. <laughs> I'll take it out of the box. Hold on. I'm not... I don't, don't, don't damage it, Ant. I'm not taking out of the uh, casing, but you see it a bit better now. You've got the yeah. second egg. And then I'm not taking out of the actual plastic, no. but you can kind of... Oh, that's great, that, mate. Kind of see... How, mu how much was that going for? A friend of mine bought it me a present. I think they were about 50 quid, I think. Yeah, nice, um, that, mate. I think you can still get them. I don't think they were limited. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, there's a box. Really nice, that, mate. The box the last, holds a, a nice piece. last thing is... Uh, <laughs> The old bloody what they call what is it? F fuck it, forefront video, just a cheap sell through from ninety three. Oh. Brilliant, mm. mate. That's a, that's a really that's a stunning collection of American werewolf. Um, yeah. So again, I've got the from from uh, Spectrum the original pre cert VHS, very very battered, and I hate to see that. See this? Somebody put a bloody sticker on and he had to clean it off and it made a mess of the bloody cover. I hate it when people put stickers on. Um, yeah, America, who doesn't like American Wolf in London? You know, it's still in its original box, it's a poly, polygram box as well. Um, yeah, the artwork's the same as my video. Yeah. It's pretty cool. There it is, the original. Yeah. That saw some action, mate. <laughs> that's, that's been that's that's been through a few battles and survived that. So survived yeah. some VHS machines. That has proper preset. So I've got that one, and then I did like you. I went straight to the DVD, <laughs> but mine's not a digipack. Mine's just the the two disc special edition. I did have the slipcase. But the slipcase ripped. I was heavy handed and ripped it and I thought, nah, and I binned it. But yeah, it's the same, same, that was same, the same edition. The edition's different, that's all. Same yeah. edition. And um Come on. I just have this little last thing to show. Go on. Love this. That um this cost a fortune, mate. Me and me and Jilly were just I said to Jilly, I said, I've I've only have, I've only got American Wolf on VHS and DVD. I've never, I never bothered with the Blu-ray mm. or HD Blu-ray, anything of like that. And I thought this is a 4K with the Blu-ray as well. 
but it's a limited edition box set, and and uh, my God, does it come fully loaded? And it cost us probably, I think it was 150 quid, easy. And it was brand new, and I thought, right, I'll have to get that. So I ordered it, 150 quid, and I was, this. there's two versions. There's a, a wolf mm. version, it's cover A, and this is cover B. And I liked the, the artist. But both of them are really nice, but both of them are very, very limited edition now. They open up by Turbine. German company by Turbine. Now this thing's like a Bible. This has got the slaughtered lamb beer mats in with the Universal East Proctor. No, I, I remember and when we have our oh, brew. And I looked, um, I looked for it's it, but it was just overpriced. I couldn't, I couldn't afford it. So there's art cards in here. Cool. Well, postcards with America Wolf in London on. A naked American man stole my balloons. What? Love that bit. I mean, oh, my favourite one, yeah, the See You see Next you. Wednesday. Yeah. Don't worry, folks, there's no censorship on this channel. We don't give a shit. No. The thing is, it's a, it's a, it's a comedy as well. I think that's why. Yeah, there's, why, there's yeah. a lot of humour to it. The Japanese Whereas version the, of it. The Owling, there's no comedy. And that one. That's nice. I like that. Yeah, yeah. French, I think, that one. There's a piece you got between them. Then we got a cup then we got a um, a sticker. Beware the moon. <laughs> On the subway. Well, so we got a couple a couple of stickers, I think. All oh, right, that that was for the yeah, I know what that did. I've got a couple more, couple more cards. John Landis and Jenny Agutta there. Yeah. There he is with the dead. Didn't mean to call you. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is a nice touch. We get the American Wolf in London soundtrack. Oh, that's good. I like that. As well. You get the soundtrack on it. Um, and it opens up. Cool. The Prince of Darkness is doing its best again, folks, to try and... Yeah, the sound seems to be all right. It's just the picture. Yeah. Cool. Bastard. So you get the soundtrack. Really, really, really good addition, this one. And then... You get a big... Look at the thickness. Mm -hmm. And that's a copy of our English Daily newspaper, Mirror. Daily Mirror. And on the back, a non-stop orgy of... See you next Wednesday. But this... This is just... I'll be here all day. The booklet on this... It's got everything in it. And it's even got uh, old adverts in from the from the magazines of the day. Nice. Oh, well, you reminded me. It's just a pity. It's just a pity it, it's in German. Fuck. You see some um, behind the scenes... I'm back. And, uh, nice booklet, it's that got, though. It's got all sorts. It, it, it's, it's, you it's what kids do with the pictures. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, there's, like I say, there's everything. It's. See, so it's got all the old. All the old adverts as well from from nineteen eighty one. Then you get a um, a giant, massive double sided poster with the you know you can. It's a slaughtered lamb. I'm not going to open it because it'll just take up everything. 
Um, and then finally, finally, you get the the digi the, the digi pack four K, where he stood at the cool. Oh, and you get the village. I love that village. We've been to this location, Crickadarn in Wales, and really is a an awkward place to get to. There's about six houses, and it's like a corner of fields, and you really wouldn't believe that they filmed it there. Getting down there is a pain in the ass. But there's three discs: the Blu-ray, and the two, the four, the four K. There's a whole plethora of Goodies on it. Piccadilly Circus, Tottenham Road Court, Hampstead Heath. Mm -hmm. There is shells on it. Anything and everything about Werewolf. Yeah, it's a nice, it's on it. a nice set. That. I won't mind having it myself. Very rare now. I mean, they went like they went pretty. They went pretty fast. You know what I mean? And then now you're going to have to buy them. Um, on the second down market. Um, and the price is just ridiculous because people are paying it as well because they are a really nice set. But I I paid £150 and it was 150 quid. It was brand new in the cellophane. And I said to me, missus, I wouldn't normally pay go that high. I know you're crazy. You, you go off. <laughs> Off your head and, and buy stuff for stupid money, but, yeah. but that's probably one of the most expensive things. Well, of of late, because I wouldn't normally, I wouldn't normally. Uh, <laughs> talking about that, Fred. Yeah, I'm talking about that thing. Yeah. Yeah, fucking 150 quid for some CDs. Anyway, I had to get Friday. 50 pound. We should have put that in the Friday the 13th one, but we're doing another one in June. But yeah. That box set is. So there we have it. There's a bit, a bit of a difference in picture quality as well. Just quickly show. Oh that. yeah, that's a nice T-shirt. Yeah. Off you. <laughs> I've got, I've got mine hanging up there, but yeah, it's a. Uh, yeah, close up on mm -hmm. that. It's a really good T-shirt. I forgot about that. I've got, I've got mine hanging up there. Did it? Should have put it on actually, but it doesn't matter now. It's. Bit late now, isn't it? You okay, know. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Brilliant. Cool. So, what are your thoughts um, on American Werewolf Ant? Ever since I first watched it, I loved it. The only bit yeah. that scared me as a kid, <laughs> the um, when he's having the nightmare in the woods, <clears throat> and there's the hospital bed, yeah. and he wakes up. That's the only bit that I didn't like as a kid. <laughs> It just for some reason the fucking transformation scene never bothered me or anything, but that bit in the office, yeah, it's like and he opens his eyes and that. The bit, the Horrible bit where he's eating the deer as well, where he attacks the deer. And he yeah, eats didn't the... bother, didn't bother me. Yeah. It, was the, it was the bit where he was asleep. Anyway, so um, yeah, I, like I said, I, I loved it since I watched it. It's oh, an absolutely amazing film. It's what it'll never be beaten. That no amount I of CGI. The... Over, over, I think because the the two lads, David and Jack, are, are quite likable lads. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And you feel bad when Jack's getting attacked. That's a vicious mauling, and you can imagine as he, as his best friends being mauled. He can't he can't really do fuck all, can he? He's a, a huge mm -hmm. wolf. He's just trying to get out of there with his life, but he's he runs back and he gets attacked as well. Jack's been mm -hmm. ripped to pieces. Um but it's, it's an amazing film, uh, Medical World for London. If, by some miracle, none of you out there have watched it, we, me and Am, fully re we fully recommend both these films. The Howling, the first Howling is a great film. Like I said, it's got some some good moments in it, some nice scenery, some nice, some pretty adult moments in it as well. Um, but, the, yeah. but the American World for London... Man, that's uh, got a that's good, that. good sense it's of humour. To me, that's done. That's it's not only my favourite werewolf film, but it's in, it's in up there with one of my favourite films of all time. Anyway, I absolutely love it. Absolutely yeah. love it. It's amazing. It takes a lot to beat American Werewolf in London. I don't think there's another film 
of that not kind. In, not in our lifetime, anyway. No, and I don't think there ever will be, because I think, unfortunately, people are relying more on CG mm. quality now rather than physical effects, which is a downfall. It's a downfall. That's what probably makes Jaws as good as it is, because Bruce, the shark, was actually in the water. It was there. Mm. They're not just acting to us, though it is there, and there's nothing there. They're actually on on a boat in the ocean with a with a shark attacking them, which makes all the difference, mm. right, Anthony? We've got a couple of special thanks to to uh, to give. We got special thanks to mm-hmm. our new subscribers. We've got Reese Caputo, Caputo. Thank you very much, and we've got your friend Bird at McLaughlin. Thank you, very, thank you much. very much. Awesome. Very much appreciated because. Yeah. We're growing a bit, and thank you to everybody who watched Dark Knight of the Scarecrow and, as I've recorded this, Demons. Demons yeah. was the last one, but Dark Knight of the Scarecrow did really, really well. It was like people actually saw us, and the views went up, and we're very mm. grateful for everybody who tunes in. Let us know in the comments if you want to see anything, and if me yeah. and Ant have got anything. I'm just I was just going to say that. I mean, because we don't know what people want to see. Do you want to see a versus? Do you prefer our video short, like 10, 15 minutes? Do you prefer longer ones? Um, just let us know. Literally just comment and just say what you, yeah. what, what you prefer. I'm not going to get offended if you just say, oh, we only want to see you for 10 minutes. <laughs> you know, just whatever. Just leave the comments. Thanks again for everyone. And remember the Alimo. Oh, is that is was that is that is that your new remember the Alimo? Is that your new outro? It's the uh, Ryan Glover. <laughs> maybe it rain will keep him safe. <laughs> maybe maybe rain will keep him safe. This. <laughs> oh no. There's something strange about that. this place. Yeah. <laughs> murder. Murder it is then. I know. Yeah. You're in Wales, of course, being Yorkshire. Yeah. That 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 little like I said, that little that little thing it's like four houses and another four houses this way. And that's all it is, but it's just so iconic and People from all over the world flock to that little part of Wales, it's, and the, it's the probably, people in Wales are horrified. Um, <laughs> like, who's this coming up? It's actually probably one of my, if not my favourite intro of a film. That you know, up to from the beginning to when they get attacked. I think it, it just it sets the tone so well. I mean, if you're not going to like it from the intro, then don't bother watching it. But it's I just it's awesome. I can't give it enough praise. Yeah. Make your own mind. Well, don't folks, go out and watch them. And spoken. And on that bombshell, everybody, the Masters of Macar will see you very, very soon. We'll leave Take care, you. everybody. Thanks a lot.